Hi, it's, my name is Mike from Microsoft in the UK, and I gave a little demo at a conference the other day of a Windows 8.1 app controlling over Bluetooth a little Sphero ball, as you can see down on the floor here below. And I just wanted to capture that onto video. So this is a Windows 8.1 app. It can go into the App Store and be distributed to people. And it just has a, a simple sort of user interface on it here. And essentially, I can use it to drive this little Sphero ball. So let me just see if I can rotate the, the ball a little bit. I'm just going to have to look down. Rotate it around. And then drive it in particular directions. Can't drive it too far on the video, but we can just spin it around again and drive it back across. Now that's a nice little demo, it's a nice bit of connectivity between um, Windows and a device like this. But also sitting over on the table here is I have the Connect for Windows version 2 sensor, which can plug into a Windows laptop like this one. And I showed a brief demo of how to control this Sphero ball, not using this laptop at all, but just using the Kinect sensor to do a couple of simple things where it can use its skeletal tracking to track just a couple of points on my body and, and drive the Sphero ball. So let me just connect the laptop to the Kinect sensor, we'll get the laptop out of the way and then we'll drive the Sphero ball in a different way. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken the laptop, connected in the Kinect sensor over USB 3 and so we're no longer using touch on the laptop as input to drive the Sphero device. I'm now just using the position of my hands with respect to my body and the Kinect sensor is picking that up. I've changed the way that works a little bit just while I'm sitting down here for the camera. But essentially, if I take my left hand here and move it away from my body in this direction, the Sphero device will, will rotate as we're doing that. And then if I want to drive the Sphero device, I can just take my right hand and just drive the device a little bit. Let me just rotate it a little bit round, drive it in a different direction. And then we just rotate that a little bit round, drive it in a different direction, and just rotate it round again, and drive it in a different direction. So I'm now driving that thing using the Connect, just with a little bit of skeletal tracking. It's just JavaScript code, it's very simple, it's on my website, you can take it. And we're just using that to manipulate something in the real world in a really, really simple way. It's 